Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always. And today we're going to be talking about four point tracking in HitFilm Express. Okay, so four point tracking in HitFilm Express. Four point tracking is used to put an image within a scene that you're that you're editing for a video. Okay, um, so first let's go ahead and import the content that we're going to need. So we're going to need our stock footage, of course, um, and then we are going to need a picture. Um, let's go ahead and bring in, <clears throat> excuse me, our stock footage and then a picture. Okay, now, of course, just like the last video, just like any other type of tracking, we're going to go ahead and right click the stock footage and make that a composite shot. Okay. Um, because of course you can't do tracking within your timeline in your editor. Okay, so to do the tracking, let's go ahead and add a tracker to it. And what we're going to be doing is, first of all, let's show you the uh, stock footage um, without any effects added to it. So let's go ahead and through, play through this. What we're going to be doing is adding an image on that little blue square, the little blue sign that's in that image. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cover that up with an image of our own and to do that you have to track um, motion track four points four corners of that um, of that image and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to drag this little pointer our little uh, tracker up on the top right of that um, and we're going to close those parameters just a little bit um, so what HitFilm is going to do is it's going to track those points or track that corner of that image um, and you're going to need to do this four separate times, one for each corner. Um, I'm not going to show all of that because it's a lot of, you know, repetitive motion. I'm going to show you the first one and then, um, then we can go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and track this top right corner first. We're going to go ahead and zoom in. You want to be as accurate as possible with these tracks or it's not going to look right in the final render okay so we're gonna pull our tracker just a little bit so we can see what's going on here um, I'm just gonna go one frame at a time to begin with just to see when we start to move maybe there we go now we're getting some motion okay so let's go ahead and zoom in and make sure we're still we're still on that top right corner yep it looks like we are Yep, starting to come off just a little bit, so we're going to move that guy over. Um, I could let HitFilm do this by itself, but the top right corner of this is not real sharp, um, and so there's not a nice clean cut edge to do that with. So I'm actually going to do it frame by frame. Um, we're only at, I think, what was the default, like 29.5 29, 29 frames per second or something like that. So it's not really a whole ton of frames to do it manually. And the footage is not very long. Um, and of course, the closest, closer the uh, camera or the little person in CSGO gets closer to this wall, the sharper that image is going to become. Um, now, if you've got a whole ton of footage, you're going to want to do this automatically. You can, of course, just like the last video, you can start tracking in the middle of your clip as opposed to the beginning or the end. Um, you can track forward and then come back to where the tracker started and then track backwards to the beginning. Um, for this one, though, I just started at the beginning, and we're going to just keep on rolling until we get to the very end. Okay, so now that we've got that top right corner um, tracked, we're going to go ahead and name that. All right, so we're going to right-click on our little tracker here, click Rename, and Top, top Right. Real super, super simple, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to need to do the exact same th thing, excuse me, on the other three points, on the other three squares of this, okay? Um, and we can actually do that backwards now that we're at the very end of the, the, uh, um, the, end of the clip, we can track backwards. We're going to go ahead and add another, add another track. Um, we're going to name this one bottom right, so B-O-T right. I didn't capitalize the R. That's 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 gonna bug me. All right, there we go. So now if we highlight that one and zoom this out, there's our bottom right tracker. Okay. If we highlight the top right, you're gonna see, of course, the trail of tracks through each frame. 
Um, and, but if you highlight the, the new track, the bottom right, we're going to go ahead and put that right there on the corner. And we're going to uh, go ahead and track the other three corners that way. Okay, now that we've got all four points tracked and then those tracks named, um, let's go ahead and highlight all those. That way you can see this is the beginning of the video. And this is where all four points of that poster, that picture that we're going to be putting in, are going to be tracked. So now what we need to do is just like the, um, the last video on the single point motion tracking, we're actually going to add a new layer. Um, it's going to be a point layer. And we're going to now hit Control D three more times, or three times rather, and we're going to duplicate that four times. Um, now what we're going to do is name each one of these points the top right, bottom right, bottom left, and top left. And what that's going to do is it's going to help us um, locate those when we go to parent those points to their tracks. So let's go ahead and do that now real quick. Ooh, I already did left. Bop. If I can type today, bottom left, and then now we are going to go with top left and bottom right. Okay, let's go ahead and double check top right, top bottom left, top left, and bottom right. Okay, um, the order is not you know as important as making sure you get all four of those points. Okay, so now we're going to go to the top right track, and we're going to parent that. So we're going to keep the transform, single position, or single point, the position only. Um, optical flow, the options, of course, we don't need to worry about because we already tracked that position. Um, and we're going to keep the transform. We're going to go to layer, and this is the top right. So the top right layer, going to click apply there. We're now going to do the exact same thing to the bottom right layer. Um, bottom right bottom left where is he there it is apply and then top left and to the top left layer now that we've got all the tracks parented to the layers that are corresponding to each quadrant with it on you know the image that we're going to be putting on we have to add the image to the scene so let's go ahead and add the image to the very top because we want that to be um on the top we want to be able to see it um and so let's go ahead and now we're going to actually go into the effects um, and we're going to use the quad warp effect. Um, if you just type in QUA, it'll it'll come up. Um, we are now going to apply that to the Put Put Pong logo, um, and then go into the control panel. Okay. Now under the controls panel, you're going to expand the quad warp effect. Now you're going to see the top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to parent those points to the appropriate points within our editor if that makes any sense so let's go ahead and walk through walk you through how to do that so we're going to drop down the top left um, the use layer name we're actually going to use of course you guessed it the top left layer okay we can close that now we're ex expand the top right we're going to parent that of course again to the top right layer and so on and so forth for the other two bottom left and bottom right so there is the bottom left and the bottom right. Now, of course, nothing has changed because we are still in the layer view. Now, let's see what happens when we go into the viewer. Look at that. Let's go ahead and click off of that little thing so the, the tracker is a little smaller. Now that you can see, look, our Put Put Pong logo is now exactly where we, where we wanted it. So let's, oop, we want to go back to scale to fit. Let's just play through this real quick. This is going to be pretty... Um, low quality, low, eh, that's not too bad. It's really not bad. Let's go ahead and export that out and see how it looks after it's exported. Okay, now that we've exported it, now, uh, we sh the quality should be a lot better. So let's go ahead and play that and see how we did. Wonderful, it looks awesome. You can uh, add some effects too if you want to. If the lighting isn't correct and you wanna change that a little bit, you can do that. We can go into that on a later video if you guys want. But thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, hit the subscribe button. Oh, and he head over to misfitstew.com. Go check out Put Put Pong. It's the uh, Misfit Studios mobile game that we are in the middle of developing. And we will see you guys next time.